All right, so today we're going to walk through some mixes. And this is a track that I was do working on before, and we had done just high pass filter and playing with gain. And so what we're going to do now is I'm going to dive in a little bit more. We're going to talk about compression and EQ and gate um, and really kind of play with things. So we're going to start here with the first part. We're going to start with drums. All right. And so this first video, we're going to walk through drums. And we're just going to do drums. And then the next section, we'll talk about some other instruments. So basically all the other instruments. And then the third video, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through vocals. And this is a very dynamic song. This is not a super compressed radio kind of a song. This is a live thing that has a very sort of natural feel to it. It's very um, dynamic. Uh, the drums, really all the instruments are playing very dynamically. So I'm not going to, I would approach this differently than I would approach a more popish kind of a song. And so you got to take that into consideration. But I want to just talk about concepts and we'll hear a little bit what a gate does, what a compressor does, how we can utilize those. I'm probably not going to over compress or really hard compress anything. Um, but we're going to start with gating. Gating is super important with drums, but we want to make it sound natural. That's really the key in all of this. So let's just hear a loop section with the drums on. So this is just the drum tracks. All right. So that's our drum tracks. All right, uh, just add some things here. All right, so there's our drums. Now I have this in a bus as well, so I'm gonna turn the bus off. Actually, the bus is off already. Yeah, that's with the bus added, but we're not gonna do the bus. We're just gonna do the drums on their own, all right? Okay, so that's the drums. Now we're just going to repeat this section that we're going to work on. So I'm going to mute everything, and we're just going to look at kick drum to start. Okay? Now I'm going to turn it up a little bit. I'm actually going to add some gain here so we can really kind of hear what's going on the bass drum. So we hear snare drum. We hear the tom. Okay, so that's what a gate can do for us, is it can isolate so we just hear the source we want to hear. Now the challenge with this is the bass drum is not being played very loud. There's a lot of dynamic contrast within it, okay? So let's look at a gate, turn the threshold all the way up. So the threshold is where the gate engages, so basically opens. So if I turn the threshold way up, you can hear what happens. So it's just opening up the highest part and it's closing real quick. Obviously that's not very natural and that's not the sound we want. But it's a great starting place to kind of hear what the gate is doing. All right. Now in a live situation it's hard to hear this. This is where headphones, popping in headphones, listening to it can be helpful. Now I'm going to back the threshold off. Let's count how many bass drum hits there are in this. Here's the repeated section. Actually, I'm going to shorten this so we can count them. Okay, so about nine. All right, let's turn the gate on. So now that's pretty tight, okay? Now, you're hearing a little of something else. Now, when we add the overheads, it sounds totally natural. 
right? But now we're going to just play with the bass drum. Now I may want to hold that a little longer so I get a little more of the bass drum. So that's pretty good. I kind of like that. Okay. Now, I don't want to compress this very much. Compression is controlling the dynamic range. All right. So basically, when I compress something, I'm low, I'm shrinking the dynamic range. Typically, what I'm doing is I hit the threshold, which is the point of which the compressor pulls down the volume. Then what's happening is I'm making up the gain. So I'm bringing up the lows as I've brought down the highs. So what I've done is I've taken the overall dynamic range and I've done this. I've taken it from here and I've taken it to there. Now on a s bass drum part like this, there's not a ton of dynamic range there. This is the loudest part. There's some other spots here which we may jump to to just listen to. The bass drum is very light. In fact, let's jump over there And let's make sure that we're getting, uh, that we're actually getting our. Yeah, it's still good on the gate. I'm going to go back to the louder parts. Let's get out of that part because it's just sort of hitting it. <laughs> All right, so th this is kind of that same spot again. All right, let's look at the compressor. Now I just turned it on. I'm not hitting it at all right now. Okay? I'm going to increase the threshold. So now I'm starting to hit it. Now I'm at a 3 dB threshold, a 3 dB ratio. So that's 3 dB to every 1 dB over the threshold. Okay? So right now I'm hitting it and I'm getting about 3 dB of reduction. So here's without it. So my lows aren't as low, and my highs aren't as high. I've just squished it. I've evened it out a little bit. I like that. Sounds natural. Now let's go to the EQ. Now I've got some stuff on already, so let's turn that off so we can hear it au naturel. So the first thing I'm going to do is a high pass, a low, a low pass, rather, a high cut um, as opposed to a low cut. I don't need any high frequencies in this, right? So I'm going to just cut some out. Now I may want a little bit of slap. You hear that? That's the attack. Now I've got some tubbiness in there. Let's listen. I'm going to I'm increasing the frequency. I've just taken it up 8 dB and now I'm going to sweep and listen to where that sounds that I don't like it. So I'm sweeping now, okay? So you hear a little bit of funkiness there? That really made a big difference. So here's with EQ. Now listen. No EQ with. Now I'm going to give it a little bump in the low end. And I'm also going to throw a high pass on this. And listen to that. I just tightened that bass drum up quite a bit. All right. So there's where we ended up with it. Now I'm going to take everything off. Here's the gate off, the compressor off, the EQ off. That's where we started. Okay, it's a pretty big difference. Now back on. All right, now we're going to go to the snare drum. Now I've got some reverb on that, obviously. I'm going to mute the reverb. Okay, so first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to gate it. All right. Now, this is a snare drum played with hot rods. Hot rods are not that loud.
So this is not that loud. So I don't want to gate it too much. I'm going to lose a lot of the little notes, right? Okay, and that's pretty natural sounding. The release is pretty long. Now I'm going to give it a little more hold. So I get the full sound of the drum. Okay. Now I'm going to compress this a little bit as well. My gain is way up. Let me back off the gain. Now I'm going to compress it a bit. I'm bringing it down. I'm going for that like three, four to one kind of a ratio. So I'm not hitting it yet. Now I'm bringing it down a little bit, about 3 dB. So now I'm going to bring it back up about 3 dB. All right. So now I've just, again, squished that dynamic range. OK, I'm going to turn the EQ on. So this already has a high pass on it. Now we want to find that crack, and we want to get more of that crack sound happening. So I'm going to go straight to the mid highs here. I'm going to turn it up and I'm going to sweep. There's a little bit of a crack there. There's some nice. All right, so I'm going to turn that down just a little bit. Now there's some quackiness too. Let's listen to that. Cranking it up. some stuff there. Okay, here's no EQ. Here's EQ in. Now here's gate out, compressor out, and EQ out. Back in. Now let's turn on our reverb. Okay, so we got, it's a nice sound. Let's put the bass drum in. Okay, now let's look at the toms. Let me find a spot where there's some good, where all three toms are playing, because there's three toms in this. And let's grab that, and we'll listen to this. A lot of reverb, let's get rid of that. So the reverb's off. Let's just listen to the first tom. Again, we've got quite a lot of bleed. That's pretty natural sounding. Okay, let's just grab that single note and we're just going to loop that single note. Okay? It's just a lot easier to do it this way. I find just grab that note and Okay, let's I'm not going to really compress this probably at all. I am going to EQ it. Let's find that pitch there. That'll drive you crazy, huh? Hear that ringy pitch? That's pretty much where she's ringing, right there. Now I'm going to take out some highs. I don't need those. Really start to lose it right there. We lose the attack. So about right there is good. Take some of the highs out.
got some stuff there. Okay, let's turn the reverb back on. Okay, it's good. Let's find the second tom. Again, I'm just doing a basic natural sound. I'm not trying to go over processed, not trying to do anything crazy. Just want it to sound natural. It's the second tom. Okay, we got a gate on or something. Why am I not hearing that? Let's see. Why are we not hearing that? Because it wasn't attacked. It wasn't going to the main mix. Okay, we're cutting out the ring. Let's not do that. Okay, let's gate that. Release is really long. Now listen to what happens if I release, if I get the release really short. It's not very good. We want natural sounding. We're hearing the other drum with the dut dut, so that's what that little noise is. Okay, let's look at our EQ. Let's find. It's kind of some stuff there. We got a very clear pitch right there. Right, that really focuses that, doesn't it? Give it a little bit of attack. Let's turn reverb back on. Now let's hear both those drums together. This is the two hits. I like the attack on the first one. So we want to get some of that attack on the second one too. Okay, now I'm also going to pan those a little bit. Alright, let's listen to the floor tom. Actually, it was right there, just I had it muted. So let's listen to it. Now I'm going to compress that a little bit, get a little more oomph out of it. Now let's take a look at our EQ. We got a lot of low. And we got some stuff there. Let's give it a little attack. Now let's listen to all three of those together in that whole phrase. Oops. All right, so now I'm trying to even them out with some levels. I'm going to add the kick and snare. All right, good. Let's find another spot here that's a little more of a groove, and we will uh, look at the overheads. All right, let's look at the overheads. Now I'm going to pan these. Hard left, hard right. All right, now I've got them both here. Now I already have a high pass on here pretty good. 
I'm not going to really do much. I'm not going to gate them. Would make no sense to gate overheads, right? <laughs> because symbols are doing this dynamically. I don't want to gate that. I want to naturally flow out. All right. What I want to do is I want to shape the kit with the overheads. I want to give it a little brilliance. I want this to be a little more about the symbols. So I'm going to give it a little life. I'm going at a shelf at about 4 dB. All right. And I'm going to duplicate that on the uh, make sure I'm about the same. Okay. Now let's turn those off so we can listen to what that sounds like. Just a little duller. Back on. Now we're going to add the whole kit in. Now I'm going to come back here to a spot where the drums are just kind of playing a little more loose, a little more natural. All right. So here's drums playing a little more just open. Your toms are kind of loud still. The amazing thing, that reverb sounded like we had so much on the snare drum, but it doesn't sound like that much in context. Now, I'm going to do something kind of weird that I wouldn't typically do, but I feel it in this situation. I'm going to add a little reverb to the bass drum. Okay, so kind of make it sound a little more natural, all right? So, so that's a basic mix on the drums. So again, the main thing I wanted to talk about with this was gates, compressors, and EQ, kind of the tools and how we utilize those. So that's working through the drums. So in the next video, we're going to look at the rest of the instruments, not the vocals, and not the drums, but the rest of the instruments. All right? Hope you enjoyed that and got something out of it.